Okay, so today I will connect to an Aruba 6000 switch and show you some of the commands that I use daily to diagnose the switch. Let's dive it right in. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Let's connect with Putty, the switch it set up. I got a separate video how to fully set up an Aruba switch, so you can click the links in the description. But here we go, let's log in to the switch, admin account, and I will go with the password here. And okay, so we are logged in to a test switch of mine. And if the switch is on a remote and not on your desk, you can show system to make sure what model it is. So here we can see the host name, the Aruba, 6012G on the product name, even the serial number, MAC address, and the Aruba OS CX version is what firmware version it is. And we can even see the uptime and the CPU utilization. So that is very handy. And next we can do a question mark. So the question mark is to list all the commands available in this prompt and if we go into the configure terminal instead and do a question mark we actually get a whole other list of configuration syntax that we can do in the, the switch it's a bit longer so you can do a bit more configuration than just show commands if we do exit again we are back in the default terminal so if you do for example boot and question mark you will see what other parameters you can do with boot and if you go boot for example system and a question mark with that you can see even more parameters that you can do like boot into the primary or the service os so if you're unsure you can always do question mark after one of the commands one very useful command is show running config and this will actually display every config line that is on the switch and if you want to for example you can copy paste everything here below current configuration and all the way down to the prompt and you will actually have a clean backup of the switch that you can put in to the switch again if something happens. So here, for example, we can see all the VLANs, all the interfaces and what they are configured like. Here we can even see some trunk ports. And we can see, for example, in this case, I have interface VLAN 29 as my management VLAN and an IP address to access the switch. And this, this was the address we typed into Putty. And here we can see IP root is how you type the default gateway and route for the switch. And HTTPS server is online, so we can even access this with a GUI. Next up, we can do show interfaces. And here you can add brief if you want a bit more of an overview. So I like this one. Here we can see each port and each VLAN it's assigned to. Also, we have what type of port it is. So we can see, for example, 1 to 14 is 1 gigabyte, gigabit Ethernet. And 1516, we have some SFP fibers. And you can even see up or down and the speed that's connected. So in this case, I only have one to my trunk port at port 14. We can also do show VLAN. Let's expand this window a bit so we get a bit of more cleaner interface here. Let's do show VLAN again. And here we can see all the VLANs that's configured on the switch. Worth to mention is the default VLAN one we can't get rid of. And the interfaces that they are configured on. We can also do show LDAP neighbor information. And that would show all the devices that this switch is connected to. So for this one, 
our local port, port 14, is actually connected to port 13 of my other test switch that I have next to me. So this switch 66 is connected to switch 198. And if we do a show power over ethernet, we can use tab to complete it. We can also do brief here. We can see what power is reserved and what is connected into the different ports. So this is super useful if you are, for example, troubleshooting an access point and you want to see the power drone or any CCTV camera. I will actually plug in an access point so we can see. So here we can see I have plugged in on port 4 now, an access point, and you can see that it's actually drawing some power. If we do show LDAP neighbor info, we can see that this switch is connected to switch 198. And you can ping with this command, ping 10. Dot, in my case 70.0.198 will do ping signals to this 198 switch. So let's see if we have some ping connectivity here. Yes, we have. So you can do both ping and trace RT in the CLI, which is very useful. All right, so what more we got? We can have show user list to list the users that are available to log in to the switch configuration, both CLI and GUI. So in this case, it's only admin. If we do show interface transceivers we can actually see the transceivers that are connected in the two sfp ports and have actually plugged in two sfps one in port 16 which is an aruba original sfp and one in port 15 which is a third party sfp okay that was 10 commands that i use quite often when diagnosing and looking after my switches. If this was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. If you haven't watched it, you can watch this full setup of an Aruba 6000 switch next. Have a great day. Bye bye.